Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome to this demo of Until the Last Plane. Until the Last Plane is a airfield management game, which you can actually download for free right now, or at least a demo. It's part of the Steam Game Festival, which is currently ongoing, and I do believe that ends on October 13th, if I'm not mistaken. The game is developed by Carlos C. Games, as you can see here, who has shared quite a few of his dev blogs in the Discord. So I've been kind of following the game through that, and uh, so far it's been quite a bit of fun. So let's go ahead and get to the main menu here. As you can see, there's a tutorial, which I've already played through, but I'm going to showcase some of the campaign here. There are three different nations you can play as, the United States, the USSR, and Germany. Uh, with this demo, only the United States is available, and the only campaign available is the Tunis campaign. I actually completed this one yesterday, um, but we will start anew and I'll show off uh, some of the gameplay mechanics. You can choose your squadron emblem here, and I'm actually gonna choose the bat. They have various stats uh, associated with them, like durability and accuracy. I'm gonna choose accuracy and uh, the debuff, I suppose, is durability. But accuracy seems to be a pretty good stat in my opinion from what I've seen, and we'll see how that comes into play later. This campaign is six days as you can see. We'll probably play through a day or so in this video just to get a good idea of what the gameplay loop is. All right, so let's go ahead and start. And here we go, here is our airfield. Oh, here we go, Tunis, 1943. Looks like we have 2000 uh, renown. The High Command has entrusted you with the management of Gosva Airport. Your mission is to support the land troops that need to advance to Tunis. During the first days, you should run reconnaissance to discover strategic enemy targets. Okay, will do. The victory conditions are to win at least one mission a day. Okay. And the defeat conditions are to lose all your pilots. So we have six pilots, six P-36s on this airfield. So hopefully we don't lose all those. Okay. And the first things first, we're going to go ahead and run a reconnaissance mission and see what the Germans are up to today. And here you, we can choose how far we want to send our P-38 Lightning. If we wanted to go on a long and risky mission, then we will, you know, give it three fuel. Um, but I'm going to kind of do a medium risk type of deal. We'll have it go a medium distance, get medium amount of info and, uh, you know, medium risk. That seems go, go, go. relatively safe. And we'll send that off. Your airport consists of many different hangars and buildings. We'll start with this one in the top right. This is our, well, hangar. <laughs> you, we can see all of our aircraft here. And um, all the pilots have various fatigue and stress levels. The more they fly, the more fatigue and stress they will get. We can also recruit new pilots and new aircraft to the squadron. And I'm going to go ahead and grab two P-40s. Uh, the P-40s are quite nice. So we'll go ahead and grab those two. Okay, and uh, those will arrive shortly. Reconnaissance completed, and we can pick a mission here momentarily. Oh, did he not find anything? We'll see. Oh, yeah, we got to send him back out. All right, we'll send him out um, for a long mission. We'll see what he finds. Okay, and here we have headquarters where you can choose various perks for your squadron. Uh, Falcon Eye here, like, increases the accuracy of all pilots by 10, which would be quite a nice skill. This will definitely be the one I want to get at the beginning. And, uh, obviously they, they have quite a few which you can choose from here. Uh, durability of each aircraft increased by 10 and stuff like that. Just various buffs all around. So, pretty neat. Each time you complete a mission, you get a skill point. So, it's a pretty good idea to complete as many missions as you can per day. Oh, targets... Found zero. Wow. I, this is the first this has happened. Almost every recon mission I've done before, they've picked something up. Uh, this, this actually makes it kind of interesting, I got to admit. So, because we are sending our aircraft on all of these uh, recon missions, we are using quite a bit of fuel. And that's a perfect segue to the warehouse. And look, we're down to 2 out of 50 fuel. So, we're going to go ahead and buy some more fuel. And uh, that will arrive here in 50 seconds. We can also stock up on more spare parts and ammunition. We're going to need spare parts to repair our aircraft and ammo, obviously, to rearm them. And then here we go. We have the workbench where you can craft various parts for your aircraft. So like the P-36 here, you can make a new propeller, you know, make an engine. We actually have some in stock already. 
And then we can also do the same for the P40, as you can see here. So overall, pretty cool. Lots to do and manage. Still not... Okay, finally, we picked something up. Our recon aircraft did detect something, so now we'll be able to send something after them. Okay. It looks like uh, German Stukas are inbound to attack. There's strong winds. Temperature's hot. Who would have thunk? And uh, they're suggesting we attack with fighters. Okay. So we're going to send two P-40s and probably four P-36s. No one's very stressed or fatigued right now, so it should be fine. Hopefully this works out. And we'll send them off. Go get them, boys. And here we also have various stats. You can see what day it is, what time, uh, how many pilots you have, or how many mechanics, excuse me, have available, and morale. If someone gets shot down, obviously you lose morale. Okay, so we're actually bombing. Um, I misread that. No, apparently there's enemy Stukas in the area. We're going to bomb from a low altitude. And here's the combat. We want our crosshairs to line up with the target. And I'm actually not too good at the bombing uh, game. And I... <laughs> He missed. And now a Stukas sneaking up on us and is going to hit our P-40. So now our aircraft's damaged and we're going to have to manage it and repair it. It's going to pull into one of these bays. And here we go. We have a JU-87 in our sights. So we're going to do a normal attack. Unfortunately, their, um, their rear gunners are quite dangerous. But this cone... We want to get the enemy in our cone, and we don't want to be in their cone, essentially. The accuracy stat increases how large that cone is, so it makes it a little bit easier to uh, hit the targets without them hitting you. And here we have a Stuka and a P-36. We have various attack options, uh, like attacking from a low, dive attack, and normal attack. I guess I can try to explain this a little better. Better Normal attack, you just kind of move up, you, you inch towards them, which actually isn't too bad. I do like attacking from below, however, so that way it can kind of uh, get us out of that Stuka's rear gunner firing arc. And there you go. We should be able to lay down some pain. And there we go, aircraft destroyed. Another Stuka down. And now we have another aircraft. Uh, something else going on here. We have this P-30, or P-40, excuse me, is not looking so hot. Black, so we have black. a few combats that we need to resolve here. Another Stuka encountered. We're going to do a normal attack. It's fast diving away. I'm just going to... Oh, no. Uh, this main... Mm, yeah, we're going to actually miss it just barely. But that's okay. At least we weren't hit. Uh, that's the worst <laughs> when you actually get hit and shot down by an enemy Stuka. It's a little embarrassing. Okay, did a scissors. I'm gonna. There we go. We're gonna clip it. We're in his. Uh... He's in our cone, excuse me, so we'll be able to shoot him down. Good stuff. Now, as you can see, it's a fairly. I don't know. I... Simple game, but it's, it's quite a lot of fun. And here we have a uh, bombing mission. Hopefully, I can do a little better this time. You pretty much want to click and get the lines lined up. Bombs away. See if we hit it. Boom. And then the Stuka sneaks up on us and uh, shoots us. It seems like every time a uh, you do a bomber mission, uh, someone comes and shoots you and you have to go back. Murphy just needs to rearm. Thomas here is still getting his P-40 all fixed up. Okay, we got to do this. Okay, another Stuka. A P-40 engaging it. We'll just inch up on it. And, uh, oh, he, that was a mistake. I over, that gunner had pretty good accuracy, so he's going to hit us. And, uh, our aircraft, hopefully we'll return back to base. And see, we are working our mechanics like hounds. <laughs> Getting them to work, and they're taking back off. This guy's out of ammunition. That's coming in. And yeah, you just manage all of your aircrafts, keep them airworthy, and mission accomplished. Uh, we bombed the base once, and we destroyed four enemy aircraft. Not bad, and we received some funds. That also improved morale, although we were already at 100. We're going to do some recon. Uh, let's send them off on another long mission. And hopefully we can get another mission in before the sun sets. We shall see, though. But overall, yeah, it's just a, a relaxing game to play. Yeah, it's already getting dark. Which is kind of surprising. Yes, sir. 
Wow. Oh, and now now they're picking up all sorts of enemy activity. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? That's fine. It's actually pretty cool that they failed multiple times. I think that's uh makes it a little more interesting, I suppose. They don't find uh, enemies every time they go out. And now we can go ahead and skip to the next day. And we can also use some time compression. And uh, while the mechanics fix uh, Thompson's aircraft here, we're probably going to skip to the next day. I don't want my men flying at night. All right. Thompson's aircraft is now repaired. Well, in six seconds, he'll be fine. There we go. All right. You get in that hangar, buddy. You get some shut eye. Okay. We're going to skip to the next day here. And here we go, day two. Okay, the road to Tunis. The road to Tunis must be cleared. Today's missions will all have enemy armored vehicles as their targets. Destroy as many as you can. Okay. The village nearby. The head of a nearby village showed up at the camp. He says he's glad the allies have finally landed. He brings gifts, fruits grown by their farmers. Should we accept them? Who am I to refuse gifts? I will accept them. You have accepted the gift, and the chief of the village seems very happy. Unfortunately, your men get stomach aches after they eat the fruit. Morale is negative 10. Is this guy an Axis spy? Who <laughs> poisoned the fruit? All right, well, that's okay. So today's mission, it doesn't even require recon. We're going to have to escort some tanks or take them out. Let's go ahead and take off. We're going to repair some of these aircraft and get them ready to rock and roll. We're going to send off our P-40s. And we're going to bring along, uh, who is the most, we actually won't bring along this guy. Two P-40s and four P-36s, that should be sufficient. We're also going to recruit a, no, we're not because we're broke. <laughs> I didn't realize how uh, poor we were. That's not good. All right, we got to accomplish this mission or we're, uh, we're a goner, let me tell you. I did spend quite a bit of money repairing my planes. I did take quite a bit of damage. Okay, so we want to avoid getting in the Stuka's rear firing arc. We're just going to slowly close on it and attack from behind here. Like so, and we are out of the arc, but he is in ours. Enemy, down. Enemy destroyed. There you go. Good job. And you see how that accuracy skill uh, is very important and really nice to have probably making up for uh, me not being so good at the combat but here we go we're gonna clip the Stuka here and we are out of their firing arc once again getting pretty proficient at this all right let's bag our third Stuka of the day normal attack do a dive attack and just close oh interesting I don't know okay we're still in perfect and here you can see how many moves you have and how many the enemy map enemy has. So pretty neat like that. We are just, we are obliterating these enemies. Okay, and here we go. Now we have a defensive mission. So somehow a Stuka has managed to get on the six o'clock of our friendly P-36. Um, we're, gonna, we're gonna do a barrel roll. Keep on rolling. Dodge. Oh my gosh. Oh, good. oh no. <laughs> Poor Jackson. I'm sorry. Hey, I bet you are. I just got you, got you shot up there. I'm sorry, son. We'll get your plane uh, all fixed up, all right? Uh, let's go ahead and get to work on that. All right. Well, now we have some Stukas in our sights. Attack from below. Okay, close up on them. Oh, out of our arc just barely. I'm really worried about the, that arc because, you know... It's a, it's a pretty long arc, anyway. Okay, normal attack. Normal attack. Attack from below. Got him. Good job, Turner. Proud of you. Alright, now we have to evade again. Fast dive. We should be able to easily get out of the way of the Stuka, right? Uh, I don't know. Okay, perfect. We're fine. Good job. Okay, we're going to have to buy some ammunition here. And, uh, we actually need fuel, too. Oh, my goodness. I've yes, done a, a pretty poor job. Get back up there. Yes, sir. All right, rearm those aircraft. Jackson yes, here. 
should be in tip top shape now. Now we have to evade once again. I'm gonna dodge. Do some scissors. We have two more moves. And now we're gonna do a fast dive. Perfect. Good job. All right, these two, this aircraft's rearmed and it should take back off and head back into the fight. We have almost completed this. We've destroyed four enemy aircraft. So, yeah, perfect. Funds received 1,300. So we didn't fail, which, <laughs> which is good. But there you go. That's pretty much the, uh, that's the game. And you have different missions and uh, things like that. And of course, there will be new theaters. But like I said, this is currently a demo. You can download it for free. So I definitely recommend trying it out and uh, giving Carlos your feedback. Well, that is all I really have for today. I just wanted to really show off the game here and make sure you folks are aware of it. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you all for watching. As always, this is Wolfpack345 signing off. And I'll see you all on the next one.